Good evening, good evening, YouTube. This is your guy J Crew to you, uh, coming to you here on September first, twenty twenty one. Coming to you with another video here. Uh, it's something on my mind, and maybe a little trivial, but it's still something I got to get off my mind. <laughs> um. I want to talk about a lot of the hypocrisy that we see here on the internet, sometimes just in the world of entertainment in general. You know, it's people have what I call like this fake outrage over stuff. And, you know, uh, but yet they may indulge in what came before this fake outrage. I just want to talk um, about that a little bit tonight. Uh, uh, and don't laugh too hard, but... There's a, a site that I go to from time to time, uh, I guess just to entertain myself, called MediaTakeout.com. MediaTakeout.com, for those who don't know, is like this gossip-oriented website. And what they do is they post, you know, you know different news articles uh, on there. Some of them are actually fact-based, but a lot of them are not fact-based. They're just posting, you know, things in jest. Do you know what I mean? They're trying to post stuff, just trying to entertain you with something. And um, it's not really literally to make uh, be to be taken seriously. But I still see it not only at MediaTakeout.com, but on various uh, sites across the Internet. Yeah, and one story that they ran yesterday, I believe, uh, on their site called My Attention. But I, and, I, and I see this from time to time on various websites, but I see it all the time on MediaTakeout.com, and it makes me shake my head. So I want to go come at y'all with another video about this and, and warn you that you can't take a lot of this stuff that you see seriously because people just, you know, they, they kind of either type or talk out of both sides of their mouths, <laughs> if that makes any sense, uh, about the typing part. But uh, Media Takeout ran a story on... Um, an event that took place this past weekend that was hosted by that that that, that uh, fashion company Dolce and Gabbana over in Italy. Um, apparently, they had some kind of event. They host some kind of a, I think it was a fashion show th this weekend, and it was attended by some you know known celebrities and entertainers. Uh, and three that I want to bring you all attention to was one was by the name of Sierra. You know that chick who's a sometime singer now. But she was she's married to that football player Russell Wilson, the quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks, and uh, there was another chick who's who's well known because of the drama that she always seemed to keep around her circle. Megan The Stallion, that female rapper from Houston, Texas, uh, she was an attendee as well at this event, this after party they had, and also uh, another up and coming singer by the name of Normandy. I'm not as familiar with her. But apparently she she's been out for a few years. I know she got a song out right now. It's kind of popular with Cardi B, that female rapper Cardi B, by the name of uh, Ah had a brain for it. Uh, it'll 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 come back to me. She has a, a popular song, <laughs> and it just escaped my mind as soon as I got ready to say it. But um, either way, like I said, this was an event that all three of those young ladies were attending. And um, it, it was in the it was at this uh, Dolce and Gabbana Alta Moda Fashion Show after party. I believe that's what it's called. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, and oh yeah, that song just came to me. Uh, normally, with normally song with Cardi B, Wild Side. It's called Wild Side. It's a pretty nice record. But again, I'm not that familiar with with normally. I, I mean, I've heard of Cardi B, but not normally. But either way. Uh, Sierra, Normandy, and Meg Stag were at this uh, fashion show uh, that Dolce & Gabbana hosted, the Altamoda Fashion Show after party. And they began to engage in something that's been around for a while. And, um, you know, for, to some people it's annoying, to some people it's sexy, but it's not new. Um, what happened is at one point of the after party, those three young ladies began to do something called twerking. And I know you, I know a lot of y'all have heard of twerking before, um, especially during the past decade when it really has exploded across the world. But they began to twerk. And apparently, you know, MediaTakeout.com received photos, so I guess from, I don't know, from their people or just some general fans of the website. And MediaTakeout.com 
as you can see uh, on my screen, ran the article titled Sierra, Normandy, and Megan video twerking for rich Italians who laugh and gawk. Basically, what they were saying in this article was that they felt like these three young ladies shouldn't have been doing this stuff in front of rich Italian folks. As if this was too good of an event for them to be doing this at. Their stance was that, you know, this is a, like a high society event. You guys shouldn't be engaging, uh, you know, in these, in this, you know, low class activity at this high society event twerking. And they put some pictures which, in which they try to make it seem like it's suspect. Like they had, there's one picture on here where they had a white woman who was, was appearing to, you know, um, you know, be be kind of disgusted by what they were seeing. I'm gonna scroll to some of the pictures. I'm gonna show y'all. Hopefully, they'll come up. Like right here, it's a picture of two white women talking, and me to take out that comments, acting like they're disgusted. Even though one of them smiling, and one of them has a hand over the mouth. But they're trying to run the story and imply that you know the white people then you know these these Italians did not like this stuff, and they felt like. That they that it was inappropriate to do at this high society event, and um, my thing was, you know, uh, let me go to a few more photos here. There, there's another guy who's kind of having his hand his hand over his nose, and again, they're applying that these people think this stuff is inappropriate, and that's and then they have another guy who's just kind of taking a picture of her butt, uh, taking a picture of Megan Thee Stallion's butt, who's twerking right in front of him, and so you know they're trying to say, well. Well, he's creepy, you know. Uh, he's being disrespectful. Let me kind of address this issue for a minute. Uh, as I just said, twerking has been around at least uh, in the worldwide lexicon for at least the past decade. Me being a Southern young man, I can remember twerking uh, being the term that was used in the South when I was growing up, uh, like, like in the 90s. I can remember hearing the word twerk, but it only got popularized like early last decade or late in the 2000s um, when Billy Ray Cyrus's daughter, Molly Cyrus, began to do it um, like in videos and in performances. And it was like the rest of the world was acting like that's the first time they had ever heard the word twerk. And I can remember thinking about that. I was laughing. I was like, why is the rest of the world doing that? Why? Why they 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 kind of brand new? It was something that started in black culture, but yet when the rest of the world got hold of it, particularly through Miley Cyrus, if my memory serves me correct, they act like it was like the biggest thing in the world. And I know most people I knew who you know who was black. We like we laughed at that. We were like, man, that been around since like the ninety for what we remember. But again, it's an example of black people creating something, and. And uh, greater society taking a hold of it and acting like it's something that's brand new when it's actually something that's been in black culture for years. And the thing about it is, of course, since I heard about it in the 90s, as I just said, that tells you that it was accepted like in black society. Like it was something that was acceptable to do. And, uh, you know, uh, apparently when Miley Cyrus began to adapt that, and, and she began to do that show. It became accepted by greater society. So twerking, it ain't, do, ain't, it ain't, it ain't really nothing but just women shaking their behinds and gyrating up and down to, to music. That's all twerking is. Like, you know, you twerking your butt. Instead of saying work, well, work that booty, you say twerk that booty. This is, this is like another way of saying that. You know, instead of work, you say twerk. Again, but it became acceptable. But like a lot of these gossip publications in the blogs do mediatakeout.com ran this story as if there was something wrong with that because they were in front of rich Italian people I'm like no they just dancing and if you look at the video you see these Italian people they enjoying this stuff they like it they think it's cool and remember we had a point in history where twerking has been around for of a, at least in popular culture for either at or just a bit over a decade since Miley Cyrus came out doing it so it's nothing new about it. But my thing is, okay, if you think it's inappropriate to do that in front of rich Italian people, what does that say about black people who are just every day who twerk all the time? It says if me to take out.com is implying that, it's, that that's something that's low class and that should be something 
that shouldn't be seen by people of a so, certain social economic status. And I think it's a bunch of bull crap. To me, especially with a dance that greater society and higher society has already adapted over the past decade, why would you want to criticize it? That's already been co-opted by this uh, group that's of this higher socioeconomic threshold. It doesn't make sense what they're saying and what they're trying to imply. But this happens all the time with these gossip sites, and I think it's funny to me. It's entertaining. It, but, but it's kind of sad because it, it shows you that they're doing anything to get clicks and to entertain people. Like, like You'll see videos all the time. They'll have regular people twerking, whether it's young girls or whether it's Megan, especially Megan the Stallion. They, they, they twerking their booty all the time. You know, uh, you know, other women on, on their site, they have they have videos that pop up. And then one minute is funny to them, and they, they'll be like, Well, this video gone viral. Megan twerks. She's gone viral. She's looking sexy. Then they have an article like this, making it seem like it's inappropriate. You know, Sierra Normandy and Megan video twerking for rich Italians who laugh and gawk. There's nothing wrong with them laughing and gawking. There's nothing wrong with that. Especially if, if you guys are putting out a, a misleading title like that. They were enjoying that occasion. But you just have to be careful about what you read like online. It, it's, it's further indication that there's a lot of misdirection that people kind of like like a media tech out to post something one minute that's praising them twerking them their their behinds and then the next minute they'll criticize them. That's the backwardness part of social media. I do not like. It's people kind of go with the wind. Uh, they'll wake up one day feel like doing one thing, the next day they feel like doing another, and and they'll they'll just sort of go whatever way. There's no standard that they have, and so this is an example of another bullcrap article I I read. And I want to also speak about my knowledge of twerking in terms of my knowledge of in terms of how far it goes back in my memory bank. Because I want to say that because some people might not realize this stuff. You know, with them pretending like, well, oh, well only black people who, who come from a low class environment should be doing that. And rich Italians who got money or who are, you know, of a higher society who are more respectable, you know, shouldn't be doing it. You know, I wish they would shut stuff like this down because it kind of um, makes me even further question the integrity of some of these sites. It's your boy J. Crew to you, coming at you with another video here, September 1st, 2021. If you like the video, press the like button. Leave comments if you want to. Also, if you continue to join my content, please subscribe. Have a nice day.